What's up, barbarians? Welcome, welcome. Let's see if you guys are coming in before we begin our very first sales letter hacking breakdown. Let's see. the group if the live is okay okay I think we're all set Okay guys, so welcome, welcome to our very first sales letter hacking series where we dive into different proven sales letter that top copywriters already have created and this uh, times is where we learn from how they construct their copy and of course uh, analyze them and learn from that and create our own because the very first aspect of learning copywriting is analyzing the proven sales letters that was already been made that was already uh, converted into sales into millions of dollars for them so that's our goal for today so for our very first episode of the sales letter hacking saturdays it's the very infamous Rolls Royce ad. So if you don't haven't heard about this yet, this has already used for a very long time and this has been studied for copywriters again and again because of how David Ogilvy created the sales letter, uh, the ad itself. So now if you don't know who David Ogilvy is, then you should uh, he's one of the legendary copywriters that has been enlisted around the world. He, he's a, he's already in the legends, and he also created the book Ogilvy Advertising. If you wanted to learn more about that, you should. There's tons of stuff talking about how he assess and write cop copy in his ads. So now I will dive into how I do analyze and look into proven ads and how i use it to write my own so this this is going to be a very step-by-step -step process for you guys who are really who really want to learn more on how to write your own your very first copy of course so as you can see uh this proven ad is written i think this one is on paper so this is just an image of his ad and what we typically do when we have this ad if if you're kind of new to it you basically read it once and after that you start analyzing uh what it talks about inside the copy so what i usually do is when i finish uh reading the whole thing and i've seen already how he structured structured it and next thing i go into is i'm gonna move the whole copy itself into a google docs so i'm gonna copy everything then we're gonna do a step-by-step -step analysis of how david ogilvy promoted this rolls royce ads and generated millions for himself so right so i'm gonna move into the next uh, let's see I'm gonna share a tab which is so let me just check if you can all see yeah i think all you guys can see okay so this is what i did for the ad i took the whole ad and then placed it into a google docs this is the whole thing and we're gonna be analyzing it step by step so okay 
uh, let's not add suggest first. Let's just do the. Okay, the first thing I usually do for you guys to know as a copywriter, the most important part of any copy is the headline. If the headline doesn't attract or grab an attention of your reader, then automatically they won't be reading the whole thing. That's our goal. So I think it's about 80% that the headline attracts reader if it doesn't do that then you have, you've already lost that reader so uh, there are key there are some key aspects that you usually look into whenever you're analyzing the whole headline and the whole copy itself so this is what I usually do so the first few things is you have to find the for use so I'm gonna write it down let's get, let's change it to six. okay so there is what we call a for use on every headline so the very first thing whenever you're looking at a headline is you have to look at the headline if it is unique that's the number one thing of course we've already been bombarded by tons of ads tons of copy tons of products na binibenta around the world and the only thing that could grab their attention if that product of yours or that headline of yours is unique so you always try to find something unique on your product itself on your offer itself that's the very first thing you look at next number two what we're gonna look into if your headline ha is useful okay so these are the key points we're gonna be diving in how i look into analyzing the concept this is the very first thing you always do as a copywriter you analyze the proven ads the proven sales letter na gumagana na at you don't have to recreate on your own you just ha have to follow the structure you just have to follow the system na ginagawa na nila for a very long time and it works on themselves and i definitely believe it also works when you you've already used that and applied it on your own okay so after looking into if the product is unique and useful so you have to find something na ma papa attract sila sa yon and they can use it on your daily lives then the third thing you're gonna look is if this product is what we call ultra specific yeah so ultra ultra specific meaning it's kind of the same with unique but you don't ultra specific is your giving definite numbers or different definite names on the headline itself na magsasabi na this product is unique in itself so let's say if i was selling a a weight loss pill and yung weight loss pill i said how to lose weight when you say how to lose weight it's a very a uh, broad way to say it and most of the time today hindi mo na magagrab yung attention ng tao that's where this key aspects comes into uh into play kasi when you're looking at the headlines one if you say how to lose weight then you're typically the same person selling some stuff again and again but you say how to lose weight in 10 days then it's getting more specific then if I say how to lose weight in 10 days using the XYZ pill, then you're getting ultra specific. So, gets you know what I'm saying. So, we're really diving into how a headline grabs attention by having that specificity. And of course, the last one is urgency. Yeah. So, Isang part din to of looking at every headline and writing to your headline is the urgency. Because when you have the urgency, uh, you let people know and you push people to get your stuff as fast as possible. Because there is a possibility that once a person looked into your copy, your whole sales letter, after that, if they didn't get that urgency to get it now, Kasi mawawala na to, or you have only limited slots left, or you have limited stocks left, 
And what's gonna happen is they're gonna say, ah, oh, okay, uh, hindi naman ako maubusan ng ano stocks. So I'll, I'll I'll just buy it then on another day. I'll just get it on another day. So that's that's one of the problems of not getting the urgency, right? Okay. So that's the first aspect of looking into your headline. You got to have the four use. Kung hindi man apat, there should be three at most. Because that would really up the game of your headline itself. So, number one is unique. Number two is useful. Number three is ultra-specific. And number four, it should be not urgent. It should be urgent. Okay? So, you get to remember those guys. If you have some notebooks or even scratch paper, try to jot it down. Para naman, when we're going into proven ads, then you you could study it for yourself and analyze it the way I do. Okay? The next part. So this is only the first part. We have three parts on analyzing the copy, especially the headline itself. Okay? So the next part is we have Clayton Make Peace Checklist. So there is a checklist for Clayton Makepeace. He is one of the best modern copywriters in the world. I think he passed away last year. And yeah, uh, he has this 22 checklist and four of them we're also gonna use, use every single time we analyze copy. Okay, so this is the first part. So the number one that you should be looking into the copy itself, into the headline, is if it grabs the eyeballs. And, okay? So, of course, uh, when you speak about getting the attention, ito na yung, yung more deeper uh, thought niya. You should grab the eyeballs. Because sobrang dami ng information, people gets to watch and read every single day. So whenever they scroll their phones up, they scroll their laptops up and down, uh, you should be getting their attention in a snap. That's the goal of a copywriter. So in the checklist of Clayton Makepeace, you should be grabbing the eyeballs. Okay? All right? Number two. Number two for... Okay, number two is... Sorry guys. Na, ano ko, na, na wala bigla sa pag -isip. Number two is it should expand the headlines. Okay? The copy itself should expand what your headline had talked about. So, for example, you created this idea that it would lose weight in 10 days, kung weight loss pill yun, then the copy itself would be slowly talking about that and not deterring into another topic. Kasi let's say you're talking about weight loss pill, then after, on the copy itself, bigla na nag-shift from another subject. Di na siya how you lost weight using this pill, but you're already selling on another stuff. So, yun nga. Uh, your direction be should be about the headline itself. Okay? Right. So, number three. Let me see number three. Number three is you should be having. La, wala sa isip ko. When you're looking into the headlines, you should be having. You, you should be bribing them to. Femur. Bribe, bribe to see this. Yeah. So, bribe na lang. Yeah. So you're bribing them to stay longer. So you'll notice that sa mga nagbabasa at mahilig magbasa, when you're looking at an offer, you're looking at a product, uh, you will notice that they will say, if you stick around in the next five minutes or so, you're gonna, gonna learn this secret that we're gonna tell you. Yeah. Uh, minsan nagsasabi sila, uh, watch at the end of the video and you learn this stuff or you'll discover what happened to this person. So that 
kind of stuff is what we call bribing them to see this or bribe. Okay? And of course, lastly, the number four, yun, naalala ko na, is there should be credibility. Yeah, credibility. Yeah. Uh, this is a very important part of writing copy because everything you're saying sa copy is already a claim. So you're making big promises that this product can do this. this proof na you've already done this you've already uh, helped this person lose weight or you've already been featured in this kinds of topics then the copy itself doesn't have a strong foundation okay so that's one thing All right so we will go back uh, the four use that's the first part you're gonna look into is the headline it should be unique it should be useful it should be ultra specific and urgent so you gotta remember those guys we're gonna look into that later on on the ad number two is clayton make this checklist let's grab the eyeballs expand the headlines bribe them to see it and show credibility okay so that's the two parts now we're gonna do the last part which i've applied from one of the copywriters that is still living today okay he, he's already built a name for himself in the agora agora publishing if you haven't watched the previous video i talked about how the agora publishing is a billion dollar direct response company which focuses really on copywriting that's it yung pagsisell nila it's just all about copywriting and it delivered them tons tons of billions of dollars so yeah, Kyle Milligan is one of their mentees. Na ngayon, he's already built himself as a very big copywriter. And he's already looking into creating a whole squad of copywriters. And I've attended as well his copy squad and learned some tips from him. And also uh, read his book, uh, Take Their Money, where he talks about this very uh, thing that we'll be talking about. Day, which is yun din yung tinitingnan ko whenever I'm looking at ads because it's effective, it works, and it's a very easy template. Okay? So, let's look at Kyle Milligan's. Yeah, Kyle Milligan's NESB. So, why NESB? So, that's, that's his terminology for looking into the whole copy itself. NESB just means the copy should be new. It should be easy. It should be uh, forgot about the safe, and it should be big. No, what I said, you said. So it's new, easy, safe, and big. Yeah. So whenever you're looking into copy, these are the four key things that you need to every single time. And it also works. You'll notice on the copy itself na may mga words that talks about that. And we'll get to dive on more about that as well. So, okay. So, when you're looking into a copy, uh, there is also an alternative for these four words. Whenever you're saying you, that means this is the only thing in the market. Ikaw lang yung nag offer nito. So, you say the word, this is new, this is the only it's easy it means anybody can do it that's the alternative of saying that so mapapansin nyo uh, whenever we'll be diving into this every single saturday on uh, sales letters hacking saturdays uh, you're gonna learn that manonotis nyo there's tons of areas that they'll be talking on this specific words okay and next is safe the alternative for safe is it's predictable predictable yeah and of course last the is big then it could also be fast okay so whenever whenever i'm looking into copy and ads and sales letters it's all itself i look into this three parts so uh i summarize lang natin before time mag start on the sales let on the sales ad itself then it should be on the four use it's unique, useful, ultra-specific, and urgent. Hindi yan mawala on the headline. 
on the copy itself there it should grab the eyeballs it should expand the headline it should be headline it should bribe you to see this and then it should show credibility okay and lastly it's Kyle Milligan's NESD which is new easy safe and big with an alternative of only anybody predictable and fast okay so now you've already uh, written kung may notes kayo dyan, if you've already written the three key parts of analyzing the copy then we're gonna dive into the copy itself okay so let's go so I'm gonna change this to suggesting all right so this is the headline so ang ginawa ko you notice on the ad itself it was like more of a newspaper so my image then there's the whole copy right now when we're looking at uh, sales letters and copy itself online it doesn't do that way na uh, usually when you're reading it just goes down and down and down until you finish the whole thing and you take an action so uh one of the key goal of have, uh, writing copy is whenever they've read your first sentence, then you're going to go to the second, third, fourth, sixth sentence, and so on and so on. Until such time, they're going to take action. So that's the reason why most of the copy you'll see, pababa talaga siya. You'll never see a copy na patagilid or magulo yung pagkalagay. It's always going down para yung goal mo, mapabasa mo lang sila ng mapabasa. Okay? Okay, let's start with the ad. So at 60 miles an hour, the li loudest noise in this new Rolls Royce comes from the electric clock. Okay, so first few things. Puntahan muna natin yung for use. The for use, is it unique? Is it useful? Is it ultra specific? And is it urgent? So no, number one thing, unique. It's unique because it says the loudest noise in the new Rolls Royce comes from an electric chair. So let's say for unique. Next, let's look at. Uh, I'm just gonna underline everything para makita. And ito muna first part. So check for unique. Is it useful? Uh, this one is more of a luxury. So, I wouldn't say it's useful. Probably for the reader. If ang target niya is uh, high people, like uh, people who could afford Rolls Royce, then you could say it's useful. But if you're someone like us, na cars are not a priority, then... That's gonna be a drop down for the for use. But if I'm saying it right, then useful is yes for the reader, for their tar target audience. Next, is it ultra specific? That one is a big yes. Why? Kasi sinabi niya that at 60 miles an hour, the loudest noise in this new Rolls Royce comes from the electric clock. Big sabihin, the car is a very quiet car you're not gonna hear any uh, loud disturbance whenever you're driving so that's the very key element na binibigay niya so it's ultra specific yeah and I'm gonna say uh, this uh, there's a term that we call this this is what we call a unique mechanism so ito yung mechanism ng Rolls Royce na it is a very quiet car okay Next, is it urgent? So, no, no, this is not uh, urgent. Okay? So, that means it has only three checks for the for use, which is not bad. Because not every uh, criteria, much check mo in every headline to grab attention. You're just looking into this as a guide. Okay? That's one. Next, we're going to go to Clayton Make Peace. So there is, number one is grab headlines. And yes, it grabbed the headline. Kasi nga, it's a very unique car. Okay? So, it grabs the eyeballs, number two. What is number two? 
it expand the headlines. Mamaya malalaman natin kung bakit. Tapos, the next one is bribe. We didn't see anything yet. Then, on the last one is credibility, which is will be going dive into as well sa copy itself. Okay, next. For Cal Milligan's NESB, which is new, easy, safe, and big. So, new, easy, safe, and big. Headline pa lang, you'll notice it. Okay? So, he says, at 60 miles an hour, the loudest noise, mapansin nyo, the loudest noise. I'll remove natin ito. Okay. So, he says, the loudest noise, ibig sabihin, it's the only, only, yeah. That means, the loudest noise in its new Rolls Royce, napansin nyo? I'm gonna write the whole thing. Okay. New. So, both the only and new has been shown here. Okay? So, it's the only car na tahime. Okay? The loudest noise in this new Rolls Royce comes from the electric clock. So, yun itself, ito agad, the whole underlined thing. I'm gonna underline it para lang makita nyo. Yeah. It's specific really the new sign. Okay? And the only. Right? Focusing on new slash Alright. So that's the the key element that in target nya. It's not easy. It didn't say anything about safety and it didn't talk about well it did talk about something big. Ibig sabihin, this is something big. And we're gonna dive into more of that in the ad. Okay. So next, what makes Rolls Royce what makes the Rolls Royce the best car in the world? There is really no magic about it. It is merely patient attention to detail, says an eminent Rolls Royce engineer. So this one, this is what we call a proof, a testimonial pala. But still, it's a proof. A testimonial that talks about how good is the Rolls Royce. And of course, he says, there is really no magic about it. It is merely patient attention to detail. So, ibig sabihin, it's simple. Okay? So, anybody can use it. So, tina-target din niya yung anybody. So, if you can afford a Rolls Royce. Next. So, ito na yung parts ads. Number one, sa baba. At 60 miles an hour, the loudest noise comes from the electric clock, reports the technical editor of the motor. Three mufflers tune out sound frequencies acoustically. Okay, so dito, what he did was he expanded the headline. Yeah, pansin nyo, that it expanded the headline because he used the first part of the headline itself then added ni repeat niya ulit yung subheadline na nagto talk about the Rolls Royce engineer so yeah he expanded on that headline okay and three mufflers tune out sound frequencies acoustically so that means you say it's safe predictable yeah he's already explaining the specifics and he's saying that because of the three mufflers, kaya tahimik yung Rolls Royce. Okay? Number two, every Rolls Royce engine is run for seven hours at full throttle before installation. Each car is test drive for hundreds of miles over varying road surfaces. So, every Rolls Royce engine is run for seven hours at full throttle before installation and each car is test driven for hundreds of miles over varying road surfaces. So, ito, it focuses more on the specifics now. So, if your specifics, if you're looking for a car, the always question is how fast can it run? How, uh, ano yung detail? Ano yung features? Uh, what makes it different? What makes it tick? That's always the question. Of course, it's like looking into a cell phone. Ano ba yung, if you're buying this cell phone, 
than the other. Ano ba tinitingnan natin? May iba na tumitingin sa camera, may iba tumitingin sa battery capacity. Now, when you're looking at a car, it's always it's also the same. Gahanap na it's like the reader is already looking. Now, what makes the car tick, and how do you say that it could drive better than the others? So he answered the question. Kung you psychologically you're gonna ask that question, that's the answer. Every Rolls Royce engine is run for seven hours at full throttle before installation, and each car is test driven for hundreds of miles over varying results. The surfaces, road surfaces, meaning it's an all rounder. Yeah. That's what they're telling. But they're, they're really diving into the specifics. Number three, the Rolls Royce is designed as an owner driven car. It is eight inches shorter than the largest domestic cars. So, an owner driven car. So, it, it's talking about about you. So, this term, owner driven car, that pwede naman kahit sino, it's, it's just telling it is designed for you. Diba? You'll notice that yun lang naman ang ibig sabihin niya. It's designed for you, but he made it more, be, eh, better in the copy. So, designed is an owner-driven car. Okay? And it says, it is 8 inches shorter than the largest domestic cars. That means it's the only car who can fit in better spaces than most. Yan. Diba? Meron naman siyang specificity that this is the unique side of the car. Mas smaller siya. That means it could fit in better spaces than most. Next, the car has power steering, power Hey guys, there's easy to drive, easy to drive and to park. And easy to drive and to park. Then there's what they call, he says, no chauffeur needed. That means anybody, anybody can do it. Okay? Yeah. Really diving deep onto what he's talking about, right? So the car has power steering, power brakes, and automatic gear shift. It is very easy to drive and to park. It's easy, no chauffeur required. Anybody can do it. Okay. The finished car spends a week in the final test shop, being fine timed. Here it is subjected to 98 separate ordeals, so he's getting into the specifics. Yeah. Really diving into what this car is all about, telling you how methodical yung paggawa ng sasakyan. For example, the engineer used a stethoscope to listen for axle wind. So, yeah. Very detailed on assessing the car yeah so you'll notice let's say naman that most cars do this they really fine-tune and test every single car that they sell what david ogilvy is very great at is really looking into those specifics na hindi mina market masyado ng audience na mga ibang industry and that's what really copy is about you don't have to create everything new you just have to look at the those areas na hindi masyadong pinag-uusapan and use that to drive the headline drive the copy itself drive the idea na mapapawaw mo yung reader okay so next the rolls royce is guaranteed for three years so this is a very simple there's what we call a guarantee and yan mo wala it's always what happens if i'm gonna Paano kung mabangga siya in just span of one year? Wala ka bang assurance or insurance in for the driver that I could get a new one or it could be fixed? Or let's say the engine just break out in one year, then what, what's their, ano, what could they hold on na 
hindi sila masisira hindi nila ano hindi masasayang yung pera nila di ba so that's what you call having that guarantee this is also needed in every kind of copy there should be is three years with the new network so nakikita nyo there's a word new new network of dealers and parts depots from coast to coast service is no problem so that means in this area he's talking about you won't worry about your car ever so he's just talking them na, uh you don't have you won't get you're not gonna have a concern na masisira bigla yung car mo tapos wala na nasayang na yung pera diba? course number seven the rolls royce radiator has never changed except that when sir Hensi, henry royce died in 1933 the monogram rr was changed from red to black so if if there was a very fond buyer of rolls royce na mahilig pa than a Rolls Royce ever since, then this line could either attract them or lose them. Right? So if you're someone who loves the red radiator, then you're not the targeted audience. But if you say that it's uh, you love some change, then this is the reason why it's there. Okay. Next, the coach work is given five coats of primer paint and hand rub between each coat before nine coats of finishing paint go on so this whole area is talking about details how it works so uh mind you guys every single thing na sinasabi nila is already telling how it works and how it's gonna benefit you. Of course, sempre pag may sasakyan ka, and you have the Rolls Royce, some people will be asking, why did you buy the car? Or how great is this car? Then if you're someone very geeky, then you can explain that. Okay? You know then, because there's a lot of people who want to buy cars because they have specific details that could wow the audience na makakita ng sasakyan nila. By moving a switch on the steering column, you can adjust the shock absorbers to suit road conditions. That means, yeah, we're also back to all-rounder. Yeah, it's a being all-rounder, shana sa sakyan. Because how it works is, whenever you need it to adjust on specific road conditions, you can just switch the steering column. But so that also uh, cancels out any question. Now, what uh, can I use the Rolls Royce? From, from a regular highway to papunta sa dirt road, then that answers them, which also grabs the reader more attention. Okay? Next, number 10. A picnic table veneered in French walnut slides out from under the dash. Two more swing out behind the front seat. So this is a call for uh, buyers who wants car, who wants a vehicle with a slot for their food. Yeah, it's mga food lovers and they want they want to eat inside their car, then it's specifically telling them that this car has access to that as well. Then number eleven, you can get such optional extras as an espresso coffee making machine, a dictating machine, a bed bed hot and cold water for washing an electric razor or a telephone yeah so that means this could fit ultra specific on things that could fit inside the view yeah so really stating that this car has the ability for you to enjoy and while you have that luxury of a car okay so number 12 there are three separate systems of power brakes two hydraulic and one mechanical damage to one system will not affect the others the rolls royce is very this is the rolls royce the rolls royce 
is a very safe car. So you will hear the word safe again. Kahit sabi natin, alam na natin at our head that this car has safety mechanics. But treating it as well drives the desire even further. Okay? That's the reason why we repeat it. Kahit alam na natin na, of course, meron yan silang pang protection. And also a very lively car. It cruises serenely at 85. Top speed is in excess of 100 miles per hour. So this area expanded the headline again. Kasi nga, it's, it's only the electric clock na maingay. Besides that, then you could be driving for a very smooth ride. So yun yung ibig sabihin niya. The Bentley is made by Rolls-Royce except for the radiators. They are identical motor cars manufactured by the same engineers in the same works. People who feel diffident about driving a Rolls-Royce can buy a Bentley. So basically this area is giving you an option. giving the reader an option so if you're you know, if you're really looking into cars and you want a rolls royce but you can't afford it then you or you don't like the design itself then you could probably look at bentley as well yun yung parang pagkasabi niya diba? price right, this area talks about the offer now the rolls royce illustrated in the advertisement FOB principal ports of entry cost thirteen thousand nine hundred ninety-five. So, talks about the price. Mind you, guys, whenever you're doing copy, you always have the price. You always have the whole offer as much as possible. Because even though somebody loves your product, na you have to show them how valuable the car is, and you. Of course, when they've already have that desire, then comes logic. So, doesn't mean gusong gusto na nila that they'll just instantly buy. Of course, there you have to be transparent and give them the amount. So that's why David Ogilvy showed the price at thirteen thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars. So that's one heck of a car. That's about let's say if it's fourteen, so parang umaabot na siya ng millions. Yeah. If I have add that correctly, that's about millions. So if you'd like to rewarding, like the rewarding experience of driving a Rolls Royce or Bentley, write or telephone to one of the dealers listed on the opposite page. So yeah, so now binigyan ka ng option. It's not roller, hindi lang Rolls Royce yung pwede mo. You also have Bentley, and we have the last one as well, which is what we call call to action. So remember guys, whenever you're writing copy, there should always be an action at the bottom. Hindi mawawala yan ever. Because you're sell, you're all, it all talks about selling. And copywriting is just a persuasive way to sell your product or your services. So by the end talaga, you have that call to action. And of course, uh, kasi this is a very old ad and hindi pa masyadong... As in talaga specific ang tao mag-dive into. So, hindi siya talaga needed na sobrang kapal. And of course, uh, para naman ma-add yung credibility even further, just to show the people that this is not a scam or this is this is a legitimate business that they're offering Rolls Royce cars, then they showed their address. Of course, if you're off showing your address, you're ultimately saying that this is credible. Okay? Showing proof of credibility. Ah, so, hindi mawawala yan. Kasi in this very short ad, he specifically grabbed our attention, gained the interest of the reader specifically in the parts and how it works. Then after dive into the desire of you having this very safe car and also a very lively car, which also helps you cruise on driveways na sobrang tahimik, di ba? They, they've, they've shown the desire and uh, let you imagine the experience of what it ha what you will be living when you have the Rolls Royce. So, 
That's it. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask questions right now. Uh, this is a very old ad, but lagi namin to binabalikan because it's a very simple way to promote your product and it really dives deep into how your product works, uh, ano yung mga ma-assess mong problem, ano yung guarantee, ano yung offer, uh, paano mo kino-close out yung copy which we'll be diving again and again every single Saturday kasi you, you'll be seeing a lot of kinds of copy throughout the week and you'll be learning tons of stuff of that as well. So, yeah, if you have any questions, whether you've watched this through live or through a replay, feel free to comment it below and I'll surely look into that as well. So, yeah, I hope this guys benefits you. If you have any other questions related to yun nga, to the aspects of looking into the whole uh, copy itself, let me know. I would gladly help you out. Kahit a private message nyo ko, feel free. Because I would really love to share to you guys how copywriting changed my life. And now we're gonna start on doing the due structure. Para matuto nyo din yung paano talaga mag into copywriting itself. So, yeah. See you guys on Wednesday. Wednesday there we're gonna have another barbaric copywriting session. Uh, session and we'll be talking about tons more of the basics of copywriting and the structure itself this is just uh, an easy sneak peek of how you analyze your copy if you've if you've read uh, sales copy before or have looked at newspaper ads then you can use those three key aspects the four use Clayton make piece checklist and the Kyle Milligan NESB. Tapos, itry nyo hanapin yung mga specific words na nandun. Especially nung kay, ano, uh, kay Kyle Milligan, which is new, easy, safe, and big, it really helped me a lot. Kasi notice mo, if this product is talking about something new, then every single time you'll notice how they, you will differ. Pero babalik pa rin siya sa new, new. There's always talking about new. Hindi makawala. Kasi, of course, you don't want to ano, miss out the uh, client's attention, the reader's attention, kaya you always talk about the same big idea again and again. So, we'll we'll be diving more into that sa mga ibang sales letter and I hope you guys to see there again. Okay? So, have a good night, have a good weekend if you guys are